Hi guys, it's Katie. I have a Costco haul. I'm also planning on going to Trader Joe's this week, so I'll put that clip in too. Today I spent $134.70 at Costco. Um, I got this. It's like a, a beer uh, gift pack. It's not really a gift. I'm just, I just got it for my husband. He's a sucker for beer glasses like this. So it comes with three bottles of beer and a glass. I think that was like $20. So really only spent like $110 or $112 on food. I'll show you my meal plan. The theme of this week is quick and easy, quick to make, quick to clean up. So last night we had bagels, like breakfast sandwiches and fruit. I'm going to make tacos and red beans. I already have um, the red beans in the freezer. I have the, the only ground meat I have. I have half a pound of elk and half a pound of venison. So that's what my tacos are going to be made of. So it's going to be kind of fun. Pasta and chicken with red sauce, so just dice up a chicken breast, simmer in some pasta sauce. Sausage and lentils is a recipe that's on my channel, also quick and easy. Um, venison gravy over rice with a vegetable. This is like, I think they're called tenderloins, I don't know. When they process the deer, they cut them into these thin slices and they, they stir fry in just a few minutes and then I make a little gravy, pour it over rice, have a vegetable and stuff. Super quick and easy and then soup and sandwiches, can't get any easier than that. And I have a loaf of bread in the freezer that I made last week, so I don't even have to bake bread this week. I usually write, like on my grocery list, I write my meal plan, and then I write what I need, and then I write what I need to make. I actually don't need to make anything <laughs> for this week. I am going to be making some things for the freezer, but um, it's kind of weird. I don't have anything to like get ready. I didn't even buy lettuce, so I don't even have to wash lettuce, because I don't even want to make salads this week, although I love eating salads. And I think they're important to have in your diet. I just don't want to be bothered. Everything's quick and easy this week. And if you'll notice, I only made six meals <laughs> for this week. Because I'm going to go out to eat once this week, I think, at least. Or get takeout or something. I just don't have the energy to be spending on this right now. i got a few things I need to get done before the baby comes. So, Anyway, that's enough rambling on. Let's go jump into the Costco haul. I got some Prego. I made... A big crock pot of pasta sauce with the intention of freezing it or at least a lot of it and you'll see that in my next um, freezer video that should be out on Sunday but I ended up using it all in the recipes like almost all of it so I just got some prego to make it easy I got some oranges they look so good I got some cucumbers um, like I said I didn't get lettuce I'm not even gonna try salads this week I'm just gonna do cucumber slices <laughs> I got some almonds and walnuts some bananas. I got dates. I've been eating dates every day. It's supposed to be really good if you're at the end of your pregnancy. So dates every day. I got some carrots. I got this um, pink salt. I got the grinder last time, but this is a much better value. Um, the only problem is, is I don't have a salt shaker. <laughs> it's like the funniest things. I don't have a potato masher and I don't have a salt shaker. I have crazy gadgets in my kitchen. I cook from scratch every single day, but I don't own a salt shaker. Anyway, um, I have like grinders, so I'm going to have to either get a salt shaker or something. I think for now I'm just going to put a um, small amount of this in like a mason jar so I can keep it above my stove and I can just, you know, scoop it out with a little spoon or something. Uh, let's see, I got some coconut water. I got eggs. I got one of these turkey breasts. We'll use a lot of this for the soup and sandwich night. And then I'm not sure. It says you can use it for like entrees or for sandwiches. So... The ingredients are really good. It's just turkey, salt, and a little bit of sugar. So um, the per pound price is pretty good. So I'll slice some up. We have a, um, a deli slicer. I'll probably just use a knife just to make it easy on myself. And then I got some sausages. So these will be for the sausage and lentils, and then the rest I'll just throw in the freezer. It's always a good, um, you know, a quick meal. You can throw these in with pasta sauce in the crock pot or grill them or broil them and like boil them and roast vegetables, you know, quick and easy. Sausages are one of my go-tos. All right, so that is Costco. I will put Trader Joe's haul next. Hi guys, I have the rest of my grocery haul. This is from Trader Joe's. I spent $54 and I wanted to show you, look at these beautiful roses my husband got me. These are from Costco. Costco has the best flowers. They're a good price. They always last they always turn out you know sometimes roses won't even open but these have been here for about a week now uh anniversary was on thursday so yeah a week 
Well, tomorrow will be a full week. But they are so beautiful. Anyway, that's a side note. If you're looking to buy flowers for somebody, Costco is a good place. I got these little flowers. I thought they were so cute. They were $3.49. Little mums, I think. It says florette. I don't know where the tag is, but they look like mums to me. Anyway, I like them. I got three boxes of taco shells. I have three sets of taco. I think I have three. Maybe I only have two. Anyway, for in the freezer, so that way I will do taco shells. And I got a lot of pasta. Um, I also have freezer meals. Uh, so these are all whole wheat pastas. I love their pasta at Trader Joe's. It's a full pound, and it's only $1.49 for organic whole wheat. That's the best price, um, and it's a full pound. A lot of times, whole wheat and organic, they cut down the the amount, so it's like 12 ounces or 13.25 ounces or something ridiculous. But this works better because half a package is 8 ounces, which is 4 servings, which works for my family, and then I have a second half. Anyway, I'm rambling, but Trader Joe's is a good place to get whole wheat pasta. Chocolate, chocolate, this is going to be packed up and not touched until the baby comes. I got these are, uh, what are they called, carnival squashes. They were 99 cents each, so I got the three biggest ones I could find. Usually they're 99 cents a pound, so that was a good deal. And I just treat them just the same as acorn squash. So you cut them out, scoop out the seeds, put a little olive oil, and you can um, you can roast them in the oven, or you can just throw the whole thing into the oven and then cut them and scoop them later. I got some wild blueberries. I want to make blueberry pancakes, um, some fiber cereal. This little uh, decorative gourd my little one picked out. And they have these at the library where we go. Um, it's like a display in the children's area, and she cannot get enough of them. So this is like 69 cents. I thought we could stick it on the porch next to her pumpkin. Apricots, some Brazil nuts. We got these. I got these, I think, last time I went to Trader Joe's for me to snack on to get, you know, some protein. And my little one just fell in love with them. And they're soft enough that they're not something that I worry about with her. Um, of course, I watch her, but... I haven't given her peanuts or almonds yet, but these I think are good. I give her walnuts, I give her these, I give her cashews, softer nuts I, I'm okay with. I got some lettuce for the tacos, and then I got some ham to go along with the turkey for the soup and sandwiches night. My little one is eating a lollipop with, with a lot of enthusiasm over there. If you hear her huffing and puffing, she's trying to suck it right off the stick. Anyway, that's my grocery haul, and we'll see if I have one next Friday at noon. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.